Aaron, now winners of five in a row, seven of your last eight. What do you think has allowed the 25 guys in that room to gel over the last week plus? You know what? Uh, there's just a feeling in there that um, everyone feels like they're contributing, and that's been the case. You know, when, when you're a little beat up and facing adversity and things are a little bit difficult, you, you need everyone to kind of pull their weight. You need everyone to contribute and chip in on on a given night and I think that's been one of the common themes over the last week really is a lot of different people kind of doing their job and and having an impact on helping us win a game knowing what you didn't have in the bullpen tonight can you just talk about the amount of value that Herman brought to the table yeah it's huge I mean to be able to pitch us deep in not not have to go to uh, Loisaga so you know having him available and that same kind of role where we have some length with him tomorrow um, was big. I mean, for him to go out and pitch the way he did, and really, I felt like early was kind of working to find it a little bit. It wasn't. It wasn't real easy for him the first couple innings. It wasn't his sharpest breaking ball, certainly that he's had, but he pitched, and uh, you know, he keeps showing us that even when he's not necessarily at his best, he's still able to go out and have a performance like he just did. It seemed like he mixed things up a little bit more. How did he figure it out as the game went on? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what we've seen as far as we talk about the growth he's had and um, just from the experience he gained last year and some of the successes he had some of the failures he has has had um, and then coming into spring training with with just a really good focus and, and that continued development you know he has the ability to throw three pitches and he doesn't have to rely on one necessarily on a given night and um, he's he's been really I feel like focused and, and, and very competitive out there, um, and it's really served him well. Aaron, last year when Holder was struggling early, you sent him down to AAA, got straightened out, came back and helped you. Could, could that be good for Chad at this point, who's really scuffling? No, I, I mean, that's two different scenarios. The, the Holder thing, I think, came on a, on the the game in early in the season where we lost to Baltimore and we're up against it from a roster situation because we had guys injured and we needed to make some moves and you know Jonathan Holder at that point was still kind of establishing himself so no I you know we gotta we gotta continue to work to try and uh, you know figure this out and help Greeny get back to what we know he can be. Aaron is he okay physically? Yeah yeah he's he's fine physically um, just uh, yeah, we're just just struggling to, you know, finish hitters. Doesn't quite have that finish on the pitches that we're used to seeing. You know, with Bohr there, he fouls off that pitch with two strikes. That's normally a pitch he puts by him, and then obviously makes the mistake with the off-speed pitch in the heart of the plate. But uh, you know, we'll keep working at it, and and uh, you know, try and come alongside him and, and figure it out together. What do you say when he goes off? What do you say to him um, like that? You know what? The way Chad Green carries himself, and you just you, you support him, and and know that there's going to be a next time, and and uh, and just hey, we got you, we got you now, and somebody else needs to needs to pick it up in that situation. There's been many a times where Chad Green's been the one that's that's bailed other guys out, and that's what what being a team's about. What was the discussion you had a couple of times with Welty in the replay? We, on the play at first, we saw it kind of in our dugout, obviously being right there, we kind of felt like right away to the eye that, you know, the call, you know, it was going to be a challengeable call. But when, when Bard went to the phone, we didn't have the connection. And, uh, and so he was kind of telling me to hurry up. And I was like, we don't have the connection, but I think we're going to want to challenge this. And then we were able to get through. Sanchez, get here. Uh, as far as I know, I, I mean, he was, I think, landing. I haven't heard, but I would assume yes. Gary, what's your plan for him? Can you play him right away? After that? Yeah. There's no restrictions? No. What do you expect to get? A uh, good player. Um, yeah, I mean, he'll, he'll be in there tomorrow would be my uh, intent. And I mean, you know what? There's going to be games for the backup, but... Um, you know, so we're not going to, I'm not going to run him into the ground, obviously, but I, he's a fully, full go player and catcher. And do you know what you're doing? Are you going to carry three catchers? We haven't, we're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll have something for you in a little bit.